Hi. Question. What should one do to become an engineering mind? My simple answer is ask questions. Ask questions to become an engineer. The first step to become an engineer, I think, is asking questions. How do they arrive at questions? Let's take a story. Uh, now, let's take Sir Isaac Newton. How did he arrive at the question of gravitational field? Of course, all of us know that story, but there is nothing wrong in retelling it. One day, Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under the apple tree. And what happened is, an apple fell down. And suddenly, there came a question to his mind. What was the question? Why did this apple fall down? Why didn't it go sideways or why didn't it go up? The apple came vertically straight towards the earth. So he asked the question, why did the apple fall down? Now, from that question came what is called as gravity. He derived the mathematical formulas for gravity. What is important in the story is, we need to remember he first had a question that nobody had. Imagine, what if this event never occurred to Newton? Would we have not arrived at gravity? Uh, maybe something else might have happened. Let me tell you another story with the apple tree. What if, instead of Sir Isaac Newton, William Shakespeare was sitting under the tree and the apple falls down. Now what happens is, Shakespeare also gets the same question. Why did the apple fall down? Why did it fly high? Now, this question arises in his mind. What, would, what might happen is, he might write a poetry saying that the apple fell down because the apple is in love with the earth. Now, this poetry is in a book and this book resides in a library for a long time. And one day, Newton picks it up and reads the book. What would happen? Now also, Newton would get the same question. Why did the apple fall down? Why, did it, why didn't it fly high? Even then, Newton would have gone on to figure out what is gravity. Now the point is, how did he arrive at the question? Maybe through an event or through a book. This time, it happened through a book. Now my question is, we were thinking about these things, asking questions, and my question is, how would today's engineers get this motivation, get this trigger to ask questions? There are a lot of ways. Internet is a major way because a lot of people today are sitting before their systems, either in the classroom or in the laboratory or at home, or even watching videos and uh, going through apps in their mobile phone. So maybe these kind of events, events like apple falling from a tree, should come to today's engineers through a system because they are before the system and channels like YouTube are playing a big role in this kind of uh, triggering questions so we thought why not do something to trigger questions that's when came this channel the lunch pad and we work for all curious minds a channel for curious minds thanks for watching this video we will be sharing more engineering stories and concepts. Subscribe to our channel and please share us if you like us. Thank you.